All right, well, here's my Phoenix Canariensis, my Canary Island date palm here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, doing really good. This is a three and a half year old palm from a seed. And um, it is really kicking ass. I can't lie. Um, over the winter, we had some uh, some rot here. Let's see. And uh, here. So close to a spear pole. You know, that's how you get a spear pole. It rots through. But um, it's recovered nicely. Huge. It's getting really big. Um, I know it's uh, way too close to the Philifera and Butea, but what are you gonna do when you got a love for palms and not too much land? Huh. I just fit one in there. This Philifera is growing absolutely weird. You got these heavy ones that are like flopping over, and you got this one that's just oh, taking off. Just absolutely growing weird. That filifera might not stay in that location forever. I don't know. I just have this wall here of too close palms. But we'll see. We'll see who makes it. But I digress. It's about the Phoenix Canariensis. Here's another one, three and a half years old. This one sat in a pot for about an extra year. So that's why he doesn't have the the growth that that one has but he will and he's a lot more isolated out here so I figure he's going to have some room to unfurl way too close to this Bismarckia but this big Mars bleh. this Bismarckia is really small so I mean this thing's going to for sure unfurl, but hopefully he'll stand up here. I mean, they're just all too close. These are gonna be massive plants if they survive. But yeah, keep my eye on this Phoenix Canariensis. This one doesn't have any of the rot because uh, it was inside protected. So he's got a big time head start this season. Booyah.